Hey guys, it's Polly here from Beaten Jeans. And today is the day I am packing for my total gastrectomy or stomach removal. My surgery is just over a week away and I'm leaving for the NIH in just a couple days. And I thought, hey, I'm already sharing my entire journey. I might as well share what I'm bringing to the hospital. My surgery is going to be on June 21st, and I'm flying into Maryland on the 16th of June. So that is five days before my surgery. So I am going to be bringing um, a couple outfits so that my husband and I can like sightsee and eat some good food and just explore DC, although I've been there a gazillion times. We do want to visit the um, a couple museums and just kind of walk around. So I'm definitely gonna be bringing just some casual clothes. And I figured these are great for post-surgery as well, because a lot of you have said tight-fitting clothes after surgery is pretty uncomfortable. A lot of people experience a little bit of bloating. So I'm bringing these stretchy waistband shorts and pants. I have them in all sorts of colors. I got these at the Gap last year. I pretty much live in them because they're so comfortable. I have long pants as well with a drawstring. My husband's gonna be staying at the lodge and they have a laundry facility there. So I'm not gonna bring a whole lot of clothes, maybe three outfits, and then he can just wash them. I'm gonna be sure to bring those laundry pods or just, you know, a Ziploc of some laundry soap so that he can wash those as needed. As far as tops go, I live in these tank tops. I also got these at The Gap and I'm probably gonna bring three or four of these Again, my husband can wash them as needed. A lot of you guys have told me that you did not prefer sleeping in the hospital gowns and that I should purchase a button up or button down pajama set. So I did purchase three sets of them. I got them at Target. They were like $20 each. I got two pair in a short length and one pair in a pant length. They are super cozy and soft and they're made of cotton and spandex. So they have a little stretch to them. The shorts and pants have an elastic waistband and I did buy them a size bigger just to ease with that comfort with the post-surgery scar. In addition to just, you know, being a little bit more comfortable, I figured I might as well feel a little cute also. So I got three pair of those. It is gonna be very important for me to get up and walk after my surgery, just to help move that digestive system, get all that gas and air out of there, get all the piping working the way that it's supposed to. I purchased a pair of slippers at The Gap and they were only $5. And they have a nice tread on the bottom, which will be Great to be walking around in the halls at the hospital in, and they're really comfortable. They're, they're not super squishy on the inside, but they're cozy. They kind of meld to your feet. So yeah, slippers. If you've ever been a patient in the hospital, you'll know that the air is extremely dry and extremely stale. So I have this little mini diffuser that I just got at the grocery store. I think it was like, I don't know, $8.99 or something. It's really small. I'm hoping that the hospital allow me to plug this in and I am going to be bringing along one of my favorite scents, which is On Guard from doTERRA. If you use Young Living, I think it's Thieves is a, a equivalent scent. I really, I really hope and pray that they will allow me to use that because I think it'll just make everything seem a little bit more pleasant. And on that same note, with the hospital being dry and kind of stale, I'm going to be bringing a large container of lotion. This happens to be my favorite brand. There's not a lot of ingredients in it. It's pretty clean and I like it. Many of you have stated how dry your lips are um, just pre and post surgery. So I'm bringing along my favorite ointment. It is petroleum free has such a pleasant like honey scent to it, but I, I love putting this on my lips. I prefer it over chapstick. I'm gonna bring one of these. Now I know many of you may not be having your surgery at NIH, but at the NIH, they do put an epidural in you for surgery. So you're not able to shower just immediately after. In fact, maybe like one or two or three, I don't know how many days after. So you're probably gonna feel pretty dirty and need some cleaning and wiping up. And you can always get a tub of soapy water and just wash yourself that way. But I am bringing some wipes 
for those moments when I just feel like I need a quick little cleanup. I brought some baby wipes for, you know, the bottom area. And I'm bringing these face and body wipes from Trader Joe's for my face and other areas. Also some Neutrogena, just in case I decide to one day put some makeup on and I can just quickly remove my makeup with this. Not being able to shower is gonna be pretty hard for me. I am going to be masking my smell and odor with this deodorant. It's my favorite brand. It is paraben free and aluminum free. Definitely get you some deodorant if you are headed into surgery. When the time comes for me to be able to wash my hair, I'm going to be so grateful that I brought my own shampoo. And I love this shampoo from Trader Joe's. It is tea tree oil shampoo. It just kind of gives your scalp a little tingle and it smells amazing. I'm bringing both of these. If you guys follow Taylor and I on Instagram, you know that we are plant-based and mostly organic, whole foods, all that good stuff. And I am a little bit nervous about eating the hospital food. I know that where I'm going at the NIH, they try to source organic foods, but it's not always something that they have available. And you guys might think I am like crazy and that's okay, I kind of am. <laughs> but I'm gonna be bringing a bunch of my own food to eat after surgery. My husband is staying at the lodge, which is just, um, you know, out the building and through the parking lot. He's gonna have his own room. It makes me feel so much better knowing that he has a full kitchen and a place to store all these foods. But with that said, he has a long way to walk to bring these foods and drinks to me. I purchased some Hydro Flask containers. They were a little on the pricey side, but I figured with the gastrectomy and eating slowly, these will come in handy just, you know, going forward for the rest of my life. So he can just heat up some broth or my oatmeal or some soup that I may purchase, and he can bring these up to me with those foods. I did purchase three sizes of these containers. The big one is 28 ounces, and then a 20, and then a 12. I know these are ginormous, and there's no way I'm gonna eat that much in the beginning, but it'll keep it warm so that I can snack on it throughout the day. I'm not sure when I'm gonna be able to eat or drink or any of that, but when the day comes that I'll be able to have clear fluids, I'll be so grateful that I brought my own broth to drink. I love, love the Better Than Bouillon broth bases. This is no chicken. It is so flavorful and so delicious. And I'm going to also be bringing the seasoned vegetable base. They're both organic. And my husband can just heat that up, throw it in here, and then I can just sip on it as needed. And I will be so grateful that I have my own yummy broth to drink. On the day that I'm able to have the clear fluids, I know that my hospital where I'm going to offers a clear protein drink but it's made of collagen and being that I'm plant-based, I won't be able to drink that or I, I, I prefer not to drink it. And I found this clear vegan isolate online and it has zero sugar added. So I'm bringing a couple of those for me because I'm all about having that nutrition when I'm able to have it. One thing that Rachel told me that um, a lot of people rely on for their protein after gastrectomy is peanut butter. And since I'm gonna be gone for so long, I decided why not just bring a jar of my own favorite peanut butter. This is the Kirkland brand. The only ingredients in it are peanuts and salt. I figured I can just have a little spoonful of this and yeah, I'm gonna bring this and I can add it into my oatmeal or just eat it with a banana or maybe just a spoonful of peanut butter. So yes, I am bringing my own oatmeal, my own organic oats. Again, I'll have my husband pop them in here and I could just eat an ounce or two at a time or whatever my body allows me to eat. And then if I want more later on, it'll still be hot and warm in here. My favorite teas I'm bringing, these are Dave's Tea. This is a company out of Canada. I order this about once a year, just a big box of them. They are so delicious. If you guys have not had Dave's Tea, you need to give it a try. I'm bringing my little silicone tea bags to put this in here. And then, of course, 
my thermos to keep it warm. So many of you have told me to bring a long extension cord. This is, I don't know, eight feet long. Hopefully that'll be long enough. In the event that it is not long enough, I am bringing a portable charger box. Because what am I gonna do, guys? A lot of you have said you haven't had time to watch Netflix. The nurses are coming in and out, doctors coming in and out. But for those times when I can watch a little Netflix, I'll be happy that I have my charger and my laptop. When my diet advances and I'm no longer um, just on that clear liquid diet, I am going to be happy that I brought my own protein powder. I've been using this protein powder for years. It is unflavored, unsweetened. I'm not a fan of other flavors of protein, so I hope that my body will accept this. It is not gritty at all. It has 21 grams of protein. Like I said, it has zero sugars, zero sugar alcohols. And I just pray to God that I will be able to eat this. I'm gonna bring it with me so I can give it a whirl at the hospital. When it comes time for me to take a shower, I will be so grateful that I snuck this little bad boy into my bag and it will feel so great to take that shower. I just know it. A set of headphones, not only for the airplane, but just for when I'm in the hospital. Don't wanna forget those. So, so many of you have told me to bring earplugs. I am not a fan of earplugs. I do not like hearing myself breathe at night. You know, you can also hear like your heart beating and stuff when you put them in. I just, I really don't like it. But so many of you told me that the hospital is really noisy with beeping and people coming in and out. So I'm heeding your advice and I'm bringing them with me for the just in case clause. This is gonna be super important for me to start while I'm in the hospital. So I'm gonna be sure to bring it. It is my food journal. I got this on Amazon, it was $14.99 and it has six spots for meals and snacks. I think it'll be really great to start doing that while I'm in the hospital. As far as shoes go, I'm gonna bring a pair of tennis shoes just in case I need a little bit more support than the slippers. And I'm also gonna bring some flip flops just for easy slip on and slip off. Like the earplugs, I am not a very big fan of eye masks, but <laughs> again, so many of you told me to bring one, so I'm gonna heed your advice. And I am bringing this, this is my daughter's little flipsy one. I don't think I'm gonna be able to sleep like that, but who knows, I might be grateful I have it. So it's coming along with me in my bag. Another item that you guys have recommended to me is a heating pad. I just saw the other day though that the hospital has them for us to borrow, but I figured if something goes wrong and I have to stay at a hotel after my admission, I'll be happy that I have this with me. So I'm just gonna bring it just in case. This item you guys are gonna probably get a chuckle out of, but I'm a nurse and I have worked in hospitals for gosh, most of my life and they have the worst toilet paper. It's like sandpaper. So I'm bringing two rolls, one for me, and one for my husband. Pillows, yes, that's right. Many of you have also said I need to bring my own pillows and I do sleep with a lot of pillows as it is. In fact, I sleep with like six. My husband always tells me that I've like building this like barrier around myself so he can't get near me. <laughs> so funny. But the hospital pillowcases are white. So be sure if you're bringing your own pillowcases that they are not white. And my seahorse buddy that I um, have, she's gonna help me if I have any questions after surgery. She recommended that I bring something that reminds me of home and something in particular of my children. And she brought with her a blanket of her children so that she could smell them and snuggle with them while she was away from them. So I'm gonna bring my kids pillowcases. This way I can keep my pillows away from the hospital pillows, yet also have a little something to remind me of home and of my children. And I'm bringing a couple just in case they get soiled and I need to change them out. I'm not sure that the hospital is going to supply me with a with an abdominal binder. In fact, I'm not even sure my hospital wants me wearing one, but I'm bringing one for the just in case clause. 
I know after my C-section, I would not have survived without one of these, just holding that incision tight and taut and secure. Just brought me so much comfort. And you know, we're gonna be at a great risk for herniation. So just keeping that all nice and tight and taut in there, I think will be helpful. And I hope that my providers will allow me to wear one. Now this is for all you ladies out there. I have marched out on my calendar, my monthly menses. And unfortunately I will be on that time of the month at my surgery. So I'm gonna bring some of those. I highly suggest you guys march it out on your calendar. Just make sure you're prepared if you need to be. As important as it's gonna be to walk around the hospital after to get things moving and stuff, many of you have said that you were so grateful that you brought a robe. So I am heeding your advice and bringing one of my own. This is so soft and cozy. I can see myself even sleeping in it. Super light and comfortable. So thank you guys for that suggestion. You also said that the blankets and, and comforters in the hospital are pretty scratchy and itchy and not very cozy. So I'm bringing a small blanket. I know this seems like a lot, you guys, and I'm only gonna bring one small tiny suitcase and a bigger one, but I have the potential to be at the hospital for up to three weeks. So I really wanna be prepared. I don't wanna to have to run out and have my husband buy any of these products, but all of these things are giving me comfort in knowing that I will have them with me in case I need them. And I hope that you found it helpful. I hope that you may find like, hey, I forgot about that item or that item. And I hope that I was able to help you in some small way or another. So the next time you see a YouTube video from me, I will hopefully be stomachless and cancer free. That is what I'm going for, cancer free. I've already had my prophylactic mastectomy and this is just the last step. And I'm gonna do it. I'm going forward with it. I'm not gonna back out. I, I, uh, I'm going for that seahorse lifestyle. So I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.